so now they shifted Zor to play Bloodseeker on the off lane. I don't know if I like it too much. I've seen this hero. Like you need to buy some utility items, like one. You still want to de like deal damage, but you also right. might want to go for some auras. I feel like buying item like Road of Atos against Timbersaw against Medusa could work out. Solar Crest, you need something cheap. Like I don't think you can allow yourself to get like straight up Maelstrom and farm. It can be your second, third item. Thinking they're gonna go, maybe have a, a try lane to start here for American goons, like they did the last time to get that first blood. Hit the arrow, or even go Starstorm first with a a stun from the lion. You did your best. You got to be careful if you're the side of Nexus Titans going into this, but it does look as though Giant will walk his way all the way down towards bottom. And they've got three heroes down here, Thana and Nature Lover. Seems like they want to get the first blood. Thana, he's going into jungle, hiding inside the trees. Blood grenade. Nature Lover. Already in their faces with that impetus level one plus blightstone. Gonna be some good harassment. Let's see how quickly they understand that Techies is missing. Dana, they want to go for it. He's so far away. It's very difficult for him to do so. Hops down a sentry. There is an OBS up there. Sticky bomb onto little Nick. Once he hits that level two, he should feel pretty good about it. Time dilation level one, and yeah, there it is. There's the TP out from Thana. Just gives some nice, just gave some nice CS to Boris, who's seven and two, Bloodseeker at zero zero because Techies was missing out. I think as an offlane Bloodseeker, you need to be off to a good start. Still sitting at zero, now just got one. And Kuritsugu does not have time lock. But I don't think they exactly have massive damage here from American Goons. Take advantage of that just yet. Well, Nick still courier? dealing with these impetus shots. And there is Boris's courier with that early band of elven skin. Techies packs a punch. Both heroes are universal, but Fekis went in more on stats, two circlets, two branches, and he does have more starting damage than Marana. Back in my days, Fekis had like 27 damage or something. <laughs> you literally could not last hit. Back in my day. Jimmy walked all the way back. Oh, Nature Lover. Now, Blood yeah, Nature Lover should die to it. Get, we'll end up dead here to Giant for the first blood. Jubei also picking up that recipe for the Ring of Basilia, so he walked that all the way back, knowing that Boris has no courier to deliver it here to the Medusa. So get that full Ring of Bassy, and you can see the Mystic Snake, that early Star Storm damage, only level two, but probably uh, could be looking at the 201, that second level in the Star Storm if they want. Earth Spike and a Rolling Death, but Rolling Death, roll, Whirling Death. Rolling Death, yeah, what is yeah, yeah. that? That's Pango who's about to die. Oh boy. Uh, He's fine. Whirling Death. He's getting stuck on that word. Said it three times in a row. <laughs> sometimes the brain works, sometimes the brain is mine. Picking up that Healing Lotus as well, so. You know, right now, Timbersaw dealing with that ring of health. The impetus shots, they hurt, but they're not killing him at the moment. Zor is moving at the speed of light. Yeah, that, that's the best part is he's able to move around, be here at, at 500 movement speed just about. And no follow up, no stun there to keep him in the blood, right? Esk goes to pick up the bounty rune, refill that bottle. As desperate, his bottle is going to stay empty for the moment. So, plane's stable for now. 
But you can see American Goons, CS-wise, they're losing all three lanes. First again. spike again, Lil Nick. Now he's level three. They've got two in the reactive armor. Should get another kill on a nature lover. Will be a trade on a giant for Kiritsugu. And they're also pushing Jubei all the way back on this lane. Mid matchup is the one that I'm most surprised by. It shouldn't be this. Like, Pango should not win against Storm Spirit. You can't really kill the hero. I was watching the bottom and top lane the most because I thought, you know, Storm Spirit is just going to be able to dominate this matchup. But it seems like Desperate, he's doing a really good job. Both bottles getting refilled on the middle. Boris didn't have much mana to work with. Dana. Got some mana back from that snake. Walking back in, and Dana's going to die here. Now Zor trying to right-click through this. Jubei feeding him mangoes, has healing lotus, has 10 what magic stick Star charges. Storm? They still want to go. They still want to kill Zor. And you get him. He has Star Storm again in a second. Oh, oh my god. Oof. If he just gets the vision... For oh a snake, God. Boris. Oh, Thank you. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. Zora is mentally done after this. <laughs> Roche getting do? out of the bottom pit and going to his new summer home. Mid lane. Nice rotation. Should grant him a kill. Is dead. Yeah, they have that extra lockdown thanks to the Centaur Conqueror. Having that war stomp, and now Desperate's level six, and this is a lane that's going his way. But Thena, he's dead again. Boris has another kill. Zor needs Star to be Storm, careful. Zor stunned, and now they've got the blood grenade. Boris thinking about diving in, but wants the doy falling in, and won't get that oh, right into the Rolling Thunder. Esk. No mana left after that. Interesting move. They still want to go for this. Oh, oh, oh my. Actually, the bounces. Actually hit him. Zor is like, oh my god, what am I doing? Face palm can't believe that he Why? died two times. It, like I said, that he's done after what Roshan did to him. He broke him. Yeah, Roshan just came in and smacked him. Super unnecessary. Thena, he's here. He's dead. How is Medusa on a mega kill? Mega kill. Five zero and zero. Six minutes and the, the, both supports going for that XP rune. You're you're not gonna get it. Like they have no. two stuns available. Oh, arrow takes, on the creep. Takes out the centaur conqueror and now oh 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 oh. Zor picked it up. That's that's pretty big. I I won't even. That's not fake hype. That that. Is the kick them when they're down if he picks That's that up? That's a comeback. It was a nice blood ride. Desperate made a rotation just so they don't lose XP rune. There's still XP rune on Dire side. Man, he's opened up some time for Esk though. So maybe we can get something going. Giant, of course, now picking up the other one. If they got both there for the side of Nexus Titans, that could have been pretty massive. But sentry plays down. That'll be some more gold for Ask as he takes up that OBS. And Little Nick. Level six. Vanguard. How do you kill him? At least now. You need the rupture. Uh, or Rolling Thunder. Two, but three. there's two leap charges. Blast off use. Ball lightning. Dana slowed up. Sticky bomb. That'll explode. But now while Jubei dies, Dana. He'll go down to Giant. <laughs> He's gonna swipe a stack? Uh, he might stay here, use another Earth Spike, get himself to yeah. very close to level 6. What did he found? Arcane Ring. Oh, that's perfect. Or... doesn't grab it? Okay. Uh, there's some XP on a mid lane. Also, flag bearer creep. That's gonna be a good chunk of gold. Almost a hundred gold if he can get it. That's might be another lover. kill for Boris. Oh boy! Leap in Star Storm and Jubei gets that one to connect. 
Desperate's coming from around the side, but they're going to go here for Zor. Ball lightning in. Zor's in trouble, and that is a kill for Ask. But that leaves Boris without mana, and he ends up getting blown up by Thana. That's big gold for a uh, techies, and it will get and help for the kill on a Jubei, but the Earth spiked the finger that killed Desperate's gone. Giant hit that level six in the mid lane and was ready to blow him up. Man, like we have 18 kills in nine minutes. This game opened up so much. Karatsugu, he's farming. Same item build as he did go for in the previous one. Hand of Midas, Timber Saw. Pretty unkillable, as you said. They need to use either Rolling Thunder or Rupture. Maybe even both abilities to get the kill. Zor? Uh oh. Blood right, but. Well, he's dead. Karatsugu? Middle tower is under yeah, no finger, of course, but what level is that time walk on? Only level two. It's still a long cooldown. Mid tier one's gonna drop. Not the terrible lead that we've seen before here for American Goons, but I feel like they're getting started. The engine's roaring. Yeah, not not as bad. Both games was kind of horrible. It was a six, seven, eight k gold lead, 12, 13 minutes into the game. Now they managed to stabilize less than one k. Zor still needs to recover. I I see Maelstrom as his next item. I said that he needs to have like one small item, but it seems like if he wants to play like this longer game, he can't get away with Maelstrom. Oh, Boris is going to come down through the Twin Gate. Will help to get the kill onto the tower. Picks up some gold. And then head back towards top. Head back towards top with some help from Giant. They might get another kill here. Giant. Does he have finger? No, 15 finger seconds. And 15. Mystic Snake and... Oh, that hurts. Meanwhile, little Nick runs away. And that's going to be a TP by Zor to bot. He wants out of that. He My wants Shadow's Lil Nick. Used too. Rupture plus any kind of stun should grant him to kill on Lil Nick. What's the TP situation looking like? Everybody's got TPs ready for the side of the dire. So if he gets hit by that, they would be able to react right by the tier one tower. Top lane, finger, Kuritsugu dead. Moonlight, Shadow worth it, used. And now he's got two stacks on that finger already. Swashbuckle basically going and killing, getting giant from 100 to zero, but needs one more hit. And that will dunk down with the shield crash. Desperate, he's got the defusal. So fighting in a Boris, not awful, but ball lightning over for Desperate. Vortex, no shield crash for you. Now they're going to look to get the kill on a nature lover who's level six with three, three, zero, zero. So not untouchable, very touchable, very killable and very dead. <laughs> and Esk does have reason rune in Little the Nick? bottle. Little Nick Dana? might get a solo kill here. Ooh, proxy mines. Never want to stand under too many of those. Big difference in terms of what Esk manages to do in this one. We haven't seen Chrono. Kiritsugu, I think he was much more active in the first game when he played Faceless Void. Got those like, earlier kills on some of the targets. Extra three, four hundred gold for him. So, what do you... I We just said it was kind of closer, but... It's then now it's starting to extend out, right? The net worth lead. That's moved during Moonlight Shadow. Nature Lover. Oof. Oof. We, Nature Lover. My pet love. He's dead three, for the three, fifth zero, time. 3-3-0-0 zero build. Yeah, we That's talked rough. about scaling. So he literally thought it was like, yeah, more damage, more points and impetus. I still feel you need to have that point in Untouchable. Good against Storm. Other heroes don't have much attack speed to kill you anyway. So they need to go with magic damage. Well, Nick, Desperate. trying to get involved here. Dyer's top tower is under I mean, if they see him, it should be Vortex into Arrow. 
But instead, Kiritsugu, oh no! And they the XP rune. Oh, this, this, this is double. No. First time they didn't manage to steal it. Now Esk will pick it up. Level 12 on Storm Spirit. Didn't activate it yet, though. That's kind of rude. Who's he holding back right now? He's holding back the Marana from getting level 9. Maybe he waits, like, Lion dies, doesn't get the XP, Mirana gets some XP. Uh, there we oh, go, Rupture, that, that's giant. the situation. Blast off misses. Earth Spike Sticky finger. Bomb, but now he comes in and Dana's gonna die. Giant's still holding onto that finger. He'll end up falling to Desperate, but they go and get the kill on Azor. Desperate now trying to run away. He's got Rolling Thunder and has that Diffusal if he wants to turn it. And throws a Swashbuckle out. I believe... Jubei just finished off mech on position five. This is not just mech, this is magic wand, mana boots, mech on your position five, who's level nine. He's very high level, almost same level as Faceless Void with Hand of Midas. Damn. Amazing what you found laying around. So, Lion, by the way, picking up a blink dagger. Smoke. They have the burst damage, why not, right? Go for another one, find anybody. Oh, desperate. Blink on cooldown for a second, but now Blink, Hex, Earth Spike, no finger, and he still gets the kill. <laughs> Doesn't want to use it. Does not want to waste it. He had two opportunities to do so. Dana might have been scouted here. A giant. giant. Blast off, proxy mine, and Moonlight Shadow, Earth Spike, another proxy mine, gets the kill, Sentry, Impetus, oh! Oh! This that would have been, been insane. But they want Kiritsugu. Do they have the control to keep him there? Time walk away, Thena ends up dead to ask. They've got Jubei over off to the side. He's got Mech, he has Arcane Boots. They can stick with him. As he time walks away and gets the Midas off, and they only lose Giant. Without Lion, they don't have control. Lan Arrow needs to land. Storm Spirit, two points in Vortex. Another rune. Another big one. Oh, Ball Lightning all the way in. Desperate's dead. Esk gets the kill. Chrono, all right, Esk. He's in trouble and dead. Mech was used, but not enough to keep him alive. They're still chasing. They go to the Rupture. If you just stay out of the blood right, maybe they can help Lil Nick, but this is looking like that last time that they had this huge lead and they lose three big kills. Way too deep. Are, are we, like, is this scripted? Are we watching the same scenario from game number one? It's the exact same thing. Kiritsugu gets involved, lands a big chrono, and you said he got the big chunk of gold from killing both Esk and Lil Nick. Almost a thousand gold, so... Yasha about to be finished. He just completed Maelstrom. Suddenly it's Yasha. And also, Zor is farming. Like he Again. has been quiet in the first game on Timbersaw until he started to get more involved. And this should be another Lion. one. Lion. Oh man. Lion ends up using that Earth Spike. They should be able to get the kill on Athena at least. Ball Lightning looking for more sustained control here to at least look to get Nature Lover. Arrow doesn't connect, now TPing out, and they have the damage before he gets away. Wow. Also, Medusa, Scotty in 800. That's insane. This is such a fast Scotty. And into the Roche bit, they go. This is not like the fastest Roche by any means. I mean, they it's can't kill slopes, it. Though. It's, it's going to take time. Yeah, th there are slower ones, just like some right clicks. You have Chakram, level 2, constant remnants. It's going to go down. Let's see who picks it up. I think Esk definitely needs to be the one getting it since he's the chrono target. Pretty much every single time he's going to be the one getting chronoed. At least in this game, he doesn't have to worry about Coil. Yeah, the only thing he needs to worry about is Chrono. They're going... They're going bottom. Giant. You gotta remember, he's got Blink. 
over the other way. Arrow. Radiance Middle Tower is trying to find attack. anything. Boris now has the Scotty ready. Again, same item build for Boris. Laying into Faceless Void, wants to have more mana. Scotty. Does he learn to get to the butterfly at this one? Is under attack. Uh, I, I mean, you're playing into Bloodseeker, you're playing into Faceless Void. I don't see the reason to not get a butterfly. Butterfly is not as good against Bango because Swashbuckle doesn't care about evasion. They're searching with this smoke. We'll have to see. I think uh, Butterfly, he should have bought it Zor. in the first game, especially. Not spotted, just on the edge of that, actually. That vision doesn't quite reach out there, but he is going to be spotted right here as he crosses over. Now they know exactly where he's at, and they could probably just blink Hex Go. But now under the Tier 2 tower, Ball Lightning will be the start. Does he use the finger this time? No, he holds it. It feels like it's being held specifically to make sure that they can always kill off Kuritsugu. Yeah, I, and I don't mind that. I'm sure it's like getting... This might be it too. Good. This is it. Moonlight That's Shadow. And oh, Time Walks to him. Whoa. Dana's going to be dead. They go to the Earth Spike. They use the finger this time and they will get this kill. That'll be a third stack. This time using it on a Desperate. I was shocked. Kiritsugu was not spotted there. and they He Time Walked right into him. But they want to go still, Jubei. I'm going to cross, and they've got the scan. They know exactly where he's at. Ball lightning to look to get this control. Time walk the other way. Still going. This is what we talked about being in a little bit too far. Arrow connects. He'll pop the illusion room, but there's no follow-up yet. Little Nick's not here. You need to be careful about status assistance. SNY is completed. That's 20% less stun duration on him. So Vortex Arrow needs to come in faster. You could see, like, not being perfectly executed. Esk jumping in again. He knows he's got this Aegis. He really wants to play this aggressive fight where they go for him. But the silence is on a Boris. You need to make sure that you're able to get the Medusa out. The rest of that team's not there. They XP pick up the again. other Wisdom Rune. And the chase was on for Boris for a moment. They don't get him. And now all these heroes are just sitting here. Other Wisdom Rune. Seems like Nexus Titans want to wait until Aegis expires and then they take a fight. So two minutes and also, again, Dana, we said it, I think, six or seven times so far in this DPC tour that if he gets this Axe timing, he might be able oh. to carry the game from position four. Zor ending up dead again. Well, Nick bashed, but they have the Lotus Sword. Mystic Snake throws all the way over on the Kuritsuga, but nobody else. This time, Zor not recovering nearly as much. And you can see Giant almost getting to that moment where he wants to hit that level 15. That's 8, a 8,000 net worth lead. Lion, Mana Drain restores allies. So can use that on Medusa, can use that on Storm Spirit. How much is it? Level 4 is going to be maxed out. Mana per second, 120. Break distance, 1100. Esk. Sees Kuritsugu, who's just been netted up. And they've got the invis. They've got the blink as well as the hex. They've hit the earth spike. He's got finger ready to go. And they will get this kill on Kuritsugu. Make it four stacks on that finger. Extra 160 damage and... Now, just a fraction of the way there to level 15. I, I feel like Finger of Death needs to be on lower cooldown. Level 1, 140 seconds. Is, is that really worth it? Like, Lina is 60 seconds, almost does the same amount of damage. Desperate. He's kind of stuck here. Arrow hits, but it looks like it hits, but it doesn't. But it's still going to get. Whoa, ball lining in, finding Dana. To that. Sticky Bomb, Mystic Snake, Lil Nick with the kill. He's now dominating. Aegis is going to expire, so he'll use this regen. And I'll eventually run out, and they go and get the Tier 2 tower over mid. It seems like Boris learned his lesson from the previous encounter. Faces Void against Medusa. Now even another guy, another hero that 
does rely on right click, that's Bloodseeker. So going for Butterfly, going into BKB. Does not want to get his mana burned. They're going to chase Kiritsugu. He does have Chrono available, but... Not able to get anybody as they were retreating from that mid push. They got the tier two tower. Shield rune bottle by Esk. And that over to the Medusa. Of course. Could give that to Timbersaw though. Always would be crazy to see him with the ridiculous amount of health. Five man smoke, this feels like it's do or die if they lose everybody here in a fight. But Boris, he's on that outer ring and they're not going that way. They're actually rolling all the way out and around. And with the positioning of American goons, this smoke could be broken before they get a chance to get in there. But they do have this OBS, which has some vision for them. Giant. On the other side, smoke broken. They know somebody's there. And again, OBS granting them some vision. Well, Nick's not the easiest target to kill. Chakram down. And how do you get in on this? They're, they're still hoping that they can. Arrow oh, hits arrow. on Athena. Ball lightning, they might just drop down the Chrono. They thought about it for the second. The time walk, there's the Chrono. It's going to be on Esk. He doesn't have this Aegis this time, but now they've got the Hex. They'll the use the Guardian time. Greaves. The Rolling Thunder comes in. Giant's going to be locked down. He has a finger to throw out there if he can just get it off, but they've got themselves the Shield Crash. They get the kill on a Giant. Now they're going to buy back here on Giant. He's going to try to get back into the fight. They're focusing their attention on a Boris. They go to the Blast Off. They drop down. All three proxy binds Manta trying to avoid the damage. They go after Thana. They've looked over a desperate ball lightning in, gets the kill. Time walk over. Esk without mana, but the Chakram's on a Karatsugu. And they'll hit the arrow spike. They'll get the finger. They'll get the kill. Nobody has any life left. And Nature Lover is going to die. It's a full team wipe right on the door of the high ground. Oh, that's, that's massive. I think Giant understanding that he needs to buy back in that fight for them to control these heroes and should grant them tier 3 tower without chronosphere, 3 seconds without faces void, should even be a set of barracks because they have catapult, little neck is super tanky, sitting at 3000 HP and mana drain restores allies, let's see it in action, level 50 in talent. This is at least the set of racks. Giant's got finger in 50 seconds again, do you really... I, Esk is going to be coming back here with full health, full mana, and he's picking up a double damage rune. Do you stop at this point? Do you go to tier two and just go through the top lane? Taking another fight now with no Chrono for Nexus Titan oh, seems it almost impossible. Lion with that drain, but uh, needs to have some mana sustain of his own. Needs some drain type of creep to drain. Or gain. Yeah, drain for fame. That's it. What? What is it? No pain, no gain. No drain, yeah. no gain. Ball lightning, vortex, rolling thunder used by desperate, desperate to find this skill. Gosh, it, it just it does not happen. Yeah, you've got nature's attendance at level three. You're healing up a little bit, but now they've got the blink. They have the hex. There's no chrono. There's no chance. He's not getting out of this one. Blastoff comes in. They've got the proxy mines down. They might be able to get the kill on a Little Nick. He's got the Lotus Orb going into the Stone Gaze. Zor trying to fight back. Thana's going to end up dead. Little Nick's still surviving, but eventually falls. They get the kill on a Desperate, and they're still going to go for more. Nature Lover. No mana left on Esk, but look at this. Giant. He's going to blink. He was looking, searching for something. Little Nick with a chat move. He... Tries to TP out, then it's like, <laughs> jokes on you guys, I'm gonna stop it. And dies while doing so, but this game, yeah, feels very, very difficult for Nexus Titans. Esk is still chasing. So... Top Sidorax. Those will be gone. Radiance top barracks has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Fifty seconds till Roche is up. One set of racks remaining. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jubei. He, <laughs> oh, yeah. he wants to become Kerry. He's been saving a lot of gold. Finished off that Guardian Greaves. And Roshan. They're going to try and fight again. This is so tough. Stonegaze is already up. Moonlight Shadow and 30. Like, 
Yeah, I understand you have Chrono, but you have to do so much here, and these heroes have buyback available on the dire side. Well, scout Forget. out the courier. No, it's know where they in are. which direction Morana is. Planted some observer ward on the high ground, and now looking for an opportunity. Boris down to half his mana. Another smoke. Butterfly avail uh, queued up for him. <laughs> this time he'll make up for it. Go for second butterfly. Uh, what? Here it's went through the twin gate. Now they're all thinking about going into the twin gate. They're all in trouble. They're split. A second went through the twin gate. Now they need to They're going to come back. Time again. walk. Chrono only onto the Marana. It's only on a Jubei. They go and get themselves a rupture. It's going to be on a little Nick, but he's got the Lotus over. They're going to drop down the minefield sign. It's going to be enough damage. They've got the finger to get the kill on a carrot. Two goes well as nature lovers or desperate. All gone. GG is called. And American goons will Good. beat Nexus Titans. Oof. That, this was like desperation move where they felt a little bit lost. What they need to do to come back into the game. Potentially.